Next, then, augmented reality, the latest technique being deployed by the advertising and marketing world to grab and keep our attention. Using a computer with a webcam or even the camera on your mobile phone, 3D images can now be superimposed on the camera image, as in this example, when the logo of the Coke can is being used to control that avatar game. Well, joining me is Miles Payton from the augmented reality company Total Immersion. Miles, you're going to give us a demo. Show us how it works. Certainly will. So, so what we have here is some regular packaging of a toy. And when you present this to a camera, something magical happens. Sure does. And so what we're seeing here is Total Immersion's technology called augmented reality. And we're overlaying the virtual on top of the real life scenario. Right. And you can see it tracks you can manipulate that all in, in a real-time real time. fashion. Absolutely. Recognises any type of image you want. There's no barcodes or QR codes or, or funny magic going on there. If I turn it over, recognises another image. Right. And then actually gives you an idea of actually what's going on inside the box. So what is it you're going to purchase? So imagine this in a point-of-sale environment where you're undecided on what product you're going to purchase, what's going to help drive consumer behaviour. Yeah. And we feel it's this type of technology. And there's no special particular computing power here. This has all come down to a regular webcam. You haven't put any special... Correct. No, there's, uh, there's, there's just standard regular technology Regular webcam, here. Correct. a laptop, nothing particularly special about this. I mean, yep. in my naivety, I thought this m might be the preserve of supercomputers at one time, but this has all come down to desktop level yes. and website level. Yeah? It's, it's very scalable, that's right. We've got technology that works across all different platforms, so it works on your mobile handset, works at home on your PC or your Mac, okay. in-store, in a point-of-sale environment, um, even so much as outdoor advertising. Imagine you're at a bus shelter and you see this technology, this digital technology coming to life. Again, it's all about engaging the end consumer. All right, you're just loading up another demo I can see you're about to do for us there. This is one involving cars. That's right. So and the Citroen people, right? So, yeah, this is a experience that we did for Citroen and the launch of their product, the C3 Picasso. And so, again, these are just oh, scanned cool. images <laughs> of the brochure. And what it enables us to do is, you know, certainly view the car from whatever viewpoint we want. But, you know, we're actually part of the experience here. Yeah. So we're actually kind of like an actor, part of this experience here. It's engaging, it's viral. <laughs> different images can do different things. And again, you know, this can work across all different types you platform. see the animation going on inside the car there. You do the interesting thing, tell me about the targeting. And the webcam's looking for what? Just that pattern, it recognises the pattern of the car, does it? So we've got some clever technology that's working behind the scenes here. But yeah, the technology is looking for an image, and when it sees the image, it will do something. Yeah. And the do something here is bring up a 3D model of the car. Right. So on this example, to take it a step further, what we can do is actually interact with this. Uh -huh. And so, you know, it doesn't get much easier than this. When I actually cover the words play, I'm changing the colour of the car there. <laughs> so maybe I can right. decide on the colour that I want. Let's maybe go for the blue here. I can view it from the different viewpoints. Yeah. If I want to have a look at another colour. So it's the plan. It goes on to the slate grey one. That's Ooh. right. That's right. So I can change any of the configurations, all in a very simple, easy-to-use fashion. And am I right in saying that this has been around for a while, but it seems to be accelerating in its popularity? A lot of sort of people trying to, I suppose, find a way to sell their products or make people aware of their wares. Are, are you using this now? That's right, yeah. I mean, we're working with a lot of the big players from consumer goods, electronics, the film promotion companies. I don't know if you can see You better this explain them. What's gone on to your head now? So, <laughs> I know, that's right. So what we're using here, as well as tracking flat images, we can also track the face, OK? And then we can apply any type of 3D model on top of that. So this was for the launch of the Paramount movie Transformers 2, mm. um, you know, last uh, summer, you know, the big blockbuster. It's got over 2 million web visitors at the moment, and you can see it's kind of tracking... Wherever I move my head, it tracks in a real-time fashion, and it's yeah. still getting thousands of, thousands of hits every, every week.
So. It's, cert it's certainly engaging, I suppose. Do you want to just see if we can get, grab the football one, which I know you, you want to show us? That's right. Um, uh, which, which is another fun as well. Panel, how are you thinking about this so far? James? I think that's brilliant. Mm. I think it's absolutely amazing. I work from home quite a lot. Can you make me look like I'm dressed when I'm on a video <laughs> conference? <laughs> <laughs> it, that'd be brilliant. There's only so much we can do, so... Uh, <laughs> maybe so next year. There you go. Yeah, that's like right. But it's, it, I mean, it. their company's called Immersion. I understand why. It is immersive, isn't it, if I borrow that word? It sort of gets that's you involved. Well, this doesn't it? Yes, and that, that is exactly the same technology that was used in cameras to basically recognise a face and focus on the face, where to take mm. a photograph is exactly what's going into the web technology now. And there's a company in uh, Switzerland called, uh, Sweden, sorry, called Polar Rose, which is doing uh, facial recognition and putting it into mobile so that it'll basically, you can draw it over someone's face and it'll recognise who you are and then tell you wh what their name is on Twitter and things like that. Yeah. Mm. While you're just learning to that, you said, talked about the mobile space. I mean, we can do this what you can even recognise a street where you are or something it won't be long before I can hold the iPhone up and it'll tell me where the nearest bank is and things like that. that that's right I mean we're there today with that type of technology so there's technology already available in the augmented reality space that enables you to find maybe the nearest pizza hut the nearest restaurant or the nearest coffee shop or your nearest tube Mm. So that technology is available today. All right, show us the footy quickly. All right. What so, have we got there? So what we've got, um, Wayne we've Rooney. got Wayne Rooney here. So when I present oh, this... Oh, there he is. <laughs> so, you know, that's fantastic. And what we've got here is we've also got a gameplay. You know, what we do know is that casual gaming well, is becoming more and more popular. Really People don't have as much time as they, they once did. Yeah. And so here, I'm going to pull back. And I'm going to position the ball. Shoot. You're going to get this, are you? I'm going to try. <laughs> All right. There you go. There there you go. End it. All right. <laughs> OK. Well, thank you very much indeed, Mars, for showing us that. Uh, Total Immersion is the name of your company. There are others out there. And a future for this kind of technology, James? Absolutely. Anything that kind of bridges the gap between the screen and the person playing a game, getting involved, I think that's amazing. I thought I'd play a game like that tomorrow. Forget the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on the phone. Yeah, definitely. Phones are going to get exciting. You know, hold it up to anything while you're walking. I know now you can get things like Layer, which is an app that tells you where the restaurant is and things like Correct. that. But that, if that's going to take a step further, that would be fantastic. So it's really exciting. Yeah, and, uh, and well, basically, we are now in the future, and uh, <laughs> yes. we are in Minority Reports. And uh, we'll be walking into uh, a shop and we'll say, oh, how did those uh, trousers fit that you bought last week, sir? So uh, yeah. everyone will be recognised everywhere.